friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well today. So I'm really excited for this week's vlog, I guess. Um, we are going to be making a dress and I am so excited. But first, let me apologize for my voice. I am still getting over a cold that I had almost two weeks ago. My voice is still kind of funny and my nose is still a little stuffed up. So I apologize in advance if that is super annoying, but let me show you what we're going to be making. So the dress that we are going to be making is this McCall's, let's see, number R11716. It is a vintage Laura Ashley reprint and I just love this pattern so much. I think it is absolutely darling. I love the ruffles on the neckline here and I'm going to be making the version with the ruffle on the bottom. The dress is reversible so you can wear it with the more sweetheart neckline or the square neckline. It's on both versions which I think is actually really cool but I am going to be making one with the ruffle just because I like to be a little bit extra. I'll show you the fabric that I'm going to be using today. It is this beautiful unfolded um, Rifle Paper Company fabric. It is this really pretty pink and green floral print and it is just darling. It's very vintagey looking, which I really like. This is from their vintage garden collection and I believe it is called Marisol is the name of the fabric, the print of it, but I just think it is so pretty. I also think I could potentially wear this into fall because I like the more warmer pinks for the autumn season. So we will see, but I have my pattern pieces laying out back here. I'm currently deciding on what size I should make because where I struggle is my bust is smaller than my waist normally would be. So like I have a 34, actually more like a 33 bust but I have a 30 inch waist. So the sizing is always a little bit different on here, but I always have a hard time with the bust in McCall's patterns. It's always way too big, but then the rest of the dress is too small. But with this one, I feel like I could have a little bit of leeway in the waist and the hips because of the style of the dress. So I may end up making one size down than what it says, I'm not really sure. I always get nervous to do that though because I just don't really know. But anyway, I did end up buying seven yards of fabric, which I feel like may have been overkill, but the videos that I've watched of people making this pattern, they use a lot of fabric. So I figured even if I had some extra, I could always make something else with it. But I do have seven yards of this and I also bought some trim. Let me find that real quick. This is some leftover from my last project, but I'm using the same trim that I used in the last project that I made, the shirt top, because I didn't really find any other trims that I really liked at Joann's. Some of them were off-white or some of them were just too big. So I just went with the same trim. I ended up getting five yards of this. We'll see if that's enough. That's all they ended up having left. Um, so that being said, let's make this dress. I'm nervous and excited, which I feel like I always am at the beginning of projects. But actually, before we start, I am going to make myself a cup of tea, even though it is really warm in this room, so it's probably a bad idea, but it just sounds really good right now. So let's make some tea, and then we will cut into the fabric. Required and ignore the incredibly messy bed behind me, but I ended up putting heavy whipping cream in my black tea and It's a definite win would highly recommend and this cup look at this. Oh my goodness gracious This is my new teacup and saucer and I think It is just darling. Does Lauren Johnson have this same teacup? Will we ever know? Guess you'll have to find out. <laughs> oh my goodness, so much fabric. <laughs> I think I definitely ordered way too much.
eventful. Uh, I just heard Churro meowing at the door. I saw something sticking out of his mouth and I thought it was a piece of string and it was a mouse tail. So I'm going to figure that out and then we will resume the sewing process. <laughs> All right, now that that excitement is done, I think we got it figured out. Tro decided to bring a live mouse to me and that was just a little bit horrifying. So now I am going to just sew all of the side seams on the main part of the dress. Um, I did just rewatch Lauren's video and um, I'm glad that I did because you have to leave an opening on the right side of the side front piece. Um, but she actually surges all of the edges before she does the opening. So I think I might do that and then just sew and finish off the edges of the rest of the pieces. So hopefully we can get this done before Rosie wakes up. Even if I can just get this done, that'll be one step down and get us a little bit closer to finishing the dress. So yeah, let's just do that. Also, I'm very excited because I just replaced the needle on this machine i would never done that before and it is sewing so so nice no pun intended um it is just it's like smooth as butter so it's making me very happy two front pieces done and I think I'm gonna have to be done for now because Rosie just woke up um, I'm gonna see if I can hem the sides I think I need to do a narrow hem on both of the sides and then we will probably be done working on it for today but I'm pretty excited oh you guys I just love this fabric so yeah let's try and get that done and then um, we will probably work on this either tomorrow or the next day, I'm not really sure. So let's finish up those hems and then we will put this away for today and then pick it up again, hopefully tomorrow. over at the sewing machine and I finished sewing the channel for the elastic in the sleeve but then I am going to add some of this mess of lace trim to the edge and Lauren showed how to do a really good trick on how to get it to line up perfectly so I'm going to try that um, and we'll see, see what this looks like so you guys can see that's what it will like I think I like that I'm pretty excited I did not even know that like lace trims were a thing until Lauren had shown them and it makes sense because some of my favorite clothes have lace on them but I guess I just never thought that you could add them to your clothes you know things that you learn while you're sewing so I'm going to sew this on and then I will cut a piece of elastic that fits my upper arm well and then we'll add that and that will be one sleeve done. It won't be in yet, but it will be at least done and then we'll work on the next one. The problem is for me. I need a So tell me I'll be honest. Tell me did you know? I'm pretty sure I said this in my last sewing video I made, but I did not realize how much lace trim was. Um, I spent almost as much on the trim as I did on the fabric of this dress and it just is kind of shocking. Okay, that is darling. It's definitely not, well, it's actually 
pretty good on what's sticking out. Okay, I'm pretty proud of myself. So Lauren leaves a little like tail at the end and then she sews these up and then trims off the excess. So I did not do that with my last one. So I'm going to do that now really quickly. Now we just need to add the elastic and then go from there. Oh, you guys. Mm. Oh, I'm getting so excited. I have a bridal shower that we are going to on Saturday, so a week from today, and I want to be able to finish this to wear it to that. So I think I'll be able to get it done um, by then. But lest you think I keep everything super clean, let me just show you. All of the threads and then all of the extra fabric. <laughs> oh dear. I try my best to move usual I went to go attach the other sleeve realized that the curve didn't match up and had the epiphany that I did not cut the sleeve the correct way I cut out two for the one side instead of cutting on the pattern piece this way and then flipping it around and cutting one out this way to go on the opposite side but could not believe it this happens every time for some reason I have a disconnect in my brain when I go to cut out the pattern pieces, it says, I'm like, oh, it says cut two, so it must be two of the same way. So we're gonna do that, work on the sleeve, and then we will put them into the body portion of the dress. The dress is done, oh my gosh. I am so, so pleased with it, you guys. It is perfect. I was so nervous when I was making this dress because it looked like it was going to be way too big, but just stick with it. The sizing is perfect. This is by far the best fitting dress I have ever made. The only alteration that I made to this dress was actually in the ruffle. I took away one of the ruffles it said to cut five ruffle pieces and i only did four and i'm actually pretty happy that i did otherwise i feel like it would have been just a little bit too much but so happy with this i love the fabric i just love everything about it i love the white trim <sighs> so so pleased with it so that being said i'm going to end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed this i wasn't planning on this being a sew with me video um, but it just ended up turning out that way. I just didn't really feel like vlogging 
this week um, and Rose was still sick and I was still a little bit sick. So we have just kind of been relaxing. Um, but I really hope you get, it did enjoy the video. If you guys did, please let me know in a comment down below. And thank you guys so much for spending your time on my channel today and I will talk to you in the next one. Mwah.